So um, this is going to be not so new to everybody, I'm sure, but bisexuality is pretty invisible in the media. <laughs> um, it, uh, people tend to be tend to be presented as going from straight to gay or gay to straight and bisexuality is very rarely considered as a possibility. So our most recent one is this guy um, in EastEnders, which I don't watch, but I believe he's called Syed Masood, if anyone does watch EastEnders, and uh, was marrying his girlfriend but also having a relationship with a guy and he's apparently presented as really gay. You know, so he's really gay, but he's married this woman. And we had similar representations on Coronation Street and The Bill and various other of our soap operas. So UK soap operas tend to be you're either gay or you're straight. Similarly in our... Oops, sash is falling. It's my organiser sash. Um, <laughs> when politicians are mentioned in the newspapers, you get the similar story of if they're married politicians and then it's found out they're having a relationship if they're a man with another man or with another woman, sense to be that they're, they, or they're gay now or they were really gay all along. You know, it's not considered. Um, we looked a bit in this paper at the difference between bi women's representations and by men. And here's Rebecca Luce, who had an affair with David Beckham, or there was a rumour that she had. So she's presented as this sexy, bi-curious, you know, but that whole kind of, is she doing it just for titillation of men kind of thing. Um, Whereas for bi men, we did get quite a lot of that research, you know, the New York Times piece about gay, straight or lying, um, this is the idea that bi men don't really exist, that permeated as well into the UK media. Um, so for bi men, there's more like scepticism about whether they're really bisexual. Um, and I just looked to kind of update you all at the Stonewall reports. There's been two really useful Stonewall reports tuned out about the BBC, British Broadcasting Corporation, <coughs> You know, how did they represent LGB people? And then Unseen on Screen was about youth TV, and they did focus groups, and they, they also looked at lots of TV programming. Um, and again, by invisibility within LGB invisibility. So there wasn't much representation of LGB people, and what there was wasn't good. And within that, the representations of bi's were 1%, I think, in the Unseen on Screen, of all of the, 1% of all the LGB representation was B, and all of it was negative, and people in the focus group said things like, oh, well, bi people are cheating, are they greedy? I end on an optimistic note. We've got Captain Jack from, oh. <laughs> from uh, Dr. Hero and Torchwood, now seen as quite a much more positive bi character. Doesn't use the word bisexual on the show, but the actor has used the word about the character, and it's quite clear that he's attracted not only to more than one gender, but also more than one species. So, <laughs> still a bit of the promiscuity kind of uh, stereotype going on there, but... Um, Helen's going to talk in a moment about her other research, but before she did that, she did some research about um, the bi-activism, and she looked at the books on bi-activism in the UK and found a real shift from an identity politics agenda, you know, we're bisexuals and we want the same rights as LG people and heterosexuals, to more queer activism. So there's been a gradual shift towards more, more qu uh, queer kind of perspective rather than identity politics perspective. She might say a bit more about that in a moment. And then Saria Munro, who's also on our team and colleagues, they did this report very recently, 2010, which was looking at local authorities, um, initiatives about sexuality and trans, and found that most of those sort of LGB or trans initiatives didn't make specific reference to bi people in those initiatives. Um, so again, it's sort of an invisibility issue. And we know that the B tends to get dropped off a lot of organisations that are LGB or LGBT will drop off the B. There are, there are similar problems with the T as well, of course. 